All right, welcome back everybody. Um, in this one, we're gonna go over quick cool feature that they have. It's called the Lead Center, and then I'll just go over basic settings. So when you have a call rail account, they do have this add-on feature called the Lead Center. Um, it's just an extra 10 bucks a month, but I highly, highly recommend it, especially have you, if you run a lot of campaigns and you deal with a lot of callers and people texting um, all the time. Now, I know there's a lot of other texting platforms out there um, for outbound text that you can manage your texting conversations. Um, but I, you know, if you have, let's say VAs handling that or a team and you really only want to handle, you know, qualified leads, then even whatever you, if you, even if you're using a texting platform for your outbound text, I would have it set up to where warm leads that are, or any type of lead that's deemed warmed in that texting platform to be relayed or pushed over into call rails. So you can really, like I said, keep track of the KPIs and kind of keep all the warm leads and calls within call rail. That's my opinion, but you can, you know, handle it both ways. You can even have your KPIs and other, you know, they do have KPIs in certain texting platforms. Um, that's my two cents, but let's just check out the lead center. What's cool about the lead center is it allows you to easily and efficiently, um, obviously handle your outbound calls and texts. So when you come to the lead center, obviously just like the call log, you have all the calls within here and you can easily just go down, click on a lead, have the same information, but it's easier to work out of. So you can easily text the person within here, give them a call. And what's cool about this is you'll lead center makes it easier when calling people back. So you can go based off your tags. And let's say I want to call this guy right here. This is our, my partner, Eric B. You just click on the phone number. If well, we have multiple companies, so we'll just go with one company. And then what you do is you would put the phone number here, their phone number here that you want to call. And then of course you can pick the tracking phone number that you want to call them from. And then you'd put your actual phone number that you're using right here. And then when you hit begin call, what it does is it calls your phone first and it'll say to be patched to this number, to be patched in this call, press one. Then once you press one, then it calls this number or your client's number. So that way, if you're using you know, a third party phone, office phone or your cell phone number, allows you to easily be able to call from the call tracking phone number that the homeowner called um, from your marketing campaign. I recommend this way because you always wanna use the phone number that the homeowner actually called, that saw on the mailer, that actually got a text from, that got a call from. Don't wanna do these campaigns where they're calling you from one phone number or getting a text and a voicemail from one number, but then you're following up with a whole different phone number. You're gonna confuse them. They're gonna think you're a totally different person. They're not going to see the congruency there. So that's what I would highly recommend. And of course, you can also text your leads back from within here as well, um, which is really cool. But that is pretty much the lead center. That's just it. It just allows you to efficiently and in an easy way to do your outbound calls and be able to do outbound texts and keep the conversation going. If we go over here to the settings tab, this is where you can, first of all, I'll just show you, this is where you can create more tags or manage your tags. You can make as many as you want. And this is where all your integrations are. So it's pretty cool if you do run Google ads uh, for your business um, today, you know, most of the traffic obviously comes from mobile. And with Google ads, you can now have your phone number um, on the ad, which call rail makes it great because you can then have a call rail number for the ad, keep track of how many people are actually calling from the ad when they see that call, but allows you to easily integrate into Google ads and into Google analytics. So that way you can have even more detailed uh, KPIs and reporting from these two platforms. Um, you can even, if your team uses Slack, you can you know, use Slack as well for incoming calls and texts, if that's you. If you run Facebook ads, you can even put you know, your phone number, your Facebook ad or Facebook page and be able to track incoming texts and calls from that platform. And of course you have web hooks and then WordPress. So if you have a WordPress website, you can easily um, integrate the two. Or if you you know if you use Lead Propeller or um, Investor Carrot, they easily integrate into CallRail as well. And then if you use specific, you know different types of CRMs like Flippilot that we're about to show you, you'll be integrating the tool. Uh, well, actually, Flippilot has a seamless integration with CallRail, which I'll show you. But let's say you're using third-party texting platforms, 
or let's say click funnels for your landing pages for ads, this is where you would kind of set up your webhooks as well. So depending on the platform, most platforms give you instructions on how to do it. Um, and it's really easy. Um, call rail is very limited in actions when pulling in a lead. So just kind of explain the ones is you have pre-call. That means right when a call comes from a tracking number, it will pull that information and push it over to whichever platform, whichever CRM or website or whatever you want. So you can have set it like that. So no matter what call, you get that information pushed over to where you want it to go. Post call, you can have it set up to where um, the contact information is only pushed over to your CRM if you actually took the call and hung up and it had a conversation. Call modified is a little bit different. It's just based off uh, you know certain tags and notes or how the call went. Uh, this you don't probably would never really use this one. You have it set up for if you have an outbound call and you have a conversation when it's over, it'll push that information over to your CRM. Um, same for texting. If it's sent or received, it'll push that information over to your CRM. And pretty much based off the third party tool, which if it's pretty much a CRM, they'll give you the links for you to put in these boxes. And you would put the link in the specific box that you want that action to push over that data. Um, I know it sounds a little bit confusing, it's a lot, but every uh, CRM out there, um, most likely they work with webhooks. It's very easy and they all have their own step-by-step -step instructions on how to do, do that. Um, so again, that is pretty much it. Oh, and one last thing is your call and text alerts. You can create alerts, so you can be notified by either email or phone every time you get an incoming call, a missed call, or based off tags, or if you get any incoming texts as well. So I hope that was informative, um, a lot of good information for you. Um, I guess I can show you real quick, you know, where you manage your account. And here, this is where you'll see your plan, um, you know, your tags, your block callers, um, and the different companies, if you have multiple companies. And then this is where you can, you know, add and edit all your different users as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And that was very insightful. Um, again, it's a very easy platform, a great platform. We highly recommend it. And if you're not in it, you definitely need to jump on into the call rail system.